50 episodes, 71 of the Football Manager. Career mode, 71 episodes, we are at the season 4 finale. It will all be covered in this episode, guys. A lot of shit to get through, but as you can see, there is the Real Madrid team. Yeah, I mean, just due to the collapse in the last game, you know, the first leg of this tie, with no chance, you know, Tav gets sent off. Once that happened at the Burma Bay, we were fucked. You know, there's the odd chance we could do it here. But as you quickly see, Eden Hazard, the future Rangers man, we signed him on a free. He's just went and got his 12th goal of the season there. Absolute shit. And for that point, we needed five. And we were never going to do that. Hazard whips it in. It's fell to Mbappe. And he has stuck it in the back. And fuck, I sent gas mask. What me? <laughs> when you run up the stairs, but Courtois has to make a pretty decent save. Mbappe goes right around the entire team. Makes it 3-0. And that is the way it finished. I mean... See, considering we were down to 10 men for the majority of the first half, I don't believe that was bad. 6-0 now, honestly, the difference in fucking teams. You know, and we had to go for it in the second leg. So McCrory's there, we've sold him on. Sarkoshka, I did want to get rid of him, and he was out of favour. But, you know, I just felt to get rid of McCrory. He's pish, and 2.6 million is like a good deal. As we see there, a 7-win-1. A 7-win-1. A 7-1 win against Hibs. Everyone on the, on the team literally getting on the score sheet and saying... And, um, yeah, I mean, that literally hands us the league because Celtic are pish. Also, we've signed on a free. Also put a wee offer in for Oli McCann, who's had a great season in real life, like the current season for um, St. Johnston. But who knows? Uh, first leg there, PSG managed to defeat Manchester City. And next up, we've got Livingston here. Um, first against sixth. I mean, the league is practically guaranteed, but a 5-2 win. Um, Ryan Kent with a brace, Keith Chamberlain double as well, King got a goal, King scored an own goal, got booked and scored a goal, fucking insane, I mean, Livy were 2-0 up in this game, but we still managed to win 5-2 at the Tony Macaroni, I mean, that's, that's pretty phenomenal, um, I believe that is us, that's us wrapped up the league, isn't it, uh, three points to guy. well, it's technically still possible, but look at that, we get an achievement, you have won the Manager of the Year award, Five times in a row, which doesn't make sense because we're only in the fourth season. I don't know if there's like the writers manager of the year and all that stuff. Also, Marcus Lorente has been signed on a free contract as well. So, yeah, I mean, you got to take advantage of the frees, you know. I like, see if you're having to spend a shit ton of money just on that. But PSG go through there against Manchester City. And, uh, yeah, next up we've got the old firm. A pretty meaningless old firm because realistically, I mean... The league's done, and that confirms it, because we defeat them 1-0. Raphael, Leo with the goals. A few bookings there. Tav, Jack, and Ed Munson. But look at this. Cool. Big Daddy Cool. Stevie Cool enters the Scotland Hall of Fame, which is a pretty, I mean, that's a pretty cool hang. As you see, we're on four in a row. We've done it. So next season will be five in a row. Southgate has been spotted. Uh, Rangers crowned champions. What else were you expecting for this season, guys? I wasn't expecting much... Um, much more, and we've also got the cup. Um, but in the final game of the season, we have got Aberdeen. It's a two each draw. Patterson and Kent, uh, Lamine Jallo with the other goals. Uh, no, it isn't the final game of the season. This was the final game of the season. A 3 2 win against Motherwell, and we finished on 96 points. We were 10 a clear Celtic, um, and there's a pretty big gap. But, I mean, I'm just going to keep on playing this probably till the next game comes out, you know, because I enjoy playing it. But, like, it'll be interesting to see if anyone outside the top two can actually break into the top two you know um but who knows we've got the scottish cup up here um big game of course obviously uh Dunfermline looking to stay in the league can they in the playoff i guess only time will tell but as you see it we have to pick our team here for the cup final hit quick pick does it all for you then you can just pick who you want to play in here um, it could be a few people's last game like greg stewart john mclaughlin so i thought why not why not give john mclaughlin the start that he, uh, he, he wants and he ultimately deserves, but we're not giving Greg Stewart the, the thing because we ultimately want to win. And uh, yeah, so we are seeking for our Scottish Cup um, glory. And what will it be, guys? What will it be? I'm predicting, I think, I think this is the treble of one this year. I believe it is. So, I mean, that's brilliant. That's uh, a 2 0 win. Tavernier, Raphael Leo with the goals. Uh, Leon King injured, but it was the final game of the season. And Ross County also get promoted. And here we go. End the season review. Here's some of the deals we did. Leo, we signed for 40 million. Gilmore, we just signed on a loan. So they feel 
he was a B minus. They also feel that Billy Gilmore was a, an A minus, which is a really good rating. What I love about football managers got all this stuff. FIFA just has a lot of needless stuff, you know, that no one cares about. We did get rid of a lot of people uh, like Shankland, Aribo, McCrory, Arfield, Fer Ferguson. Um, a decent amount of money made. I mean, we are field you were never going to make serious money because it's only 750k. Hasty, um, can I, I think that was just, I think it was just fucking, uh, it was just a release. Uh, loans those Nathan Young's Coombs and also John Sir. His, his like actual, like, you know, thing ratings like a two star, but he's worth like seven million. Probably a mistake, really, bringing him in, but here's our results, guys. We were pretty phenomenal. Um, bar that loss to Celtic in the league than the other one, which obviously interrupted it. Uh, we won us. We won the friendly cup. We finished third in the Champions League group, which was. I mean, it wasn't a great campaign. I, I'm really looking to do better in Europe. You know. I feel like in the Europa League. I think we just get shafted. I mean, Sofia, Arsenal, and Real Madrid. It's the teams to be facing in that. I mean, I think that's I think that's fucking embar like, not embarrassing, but shocking. Scottish Cup and the Betfred Cup as well, which we both won. So I think it was a fantastic season. Just a wee bit disappointed about Europe, but I think we got shafted. I mean, we made it to the quarterfinals, which I think is good. I mean, it's good. It's a good. It's a good achievement. But I want to build on it. I want to win something in Europe, guys. You know, that's the bottom line. Biggest win, match to remember. I mean, a seven-one win against Hibs. And a 6-0 win against Hibs. Uh, goal of the season was against Aberdeen. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, there's all the statistics there. Competition prize money. It's down for last year because we actually got quite a few more wins in the Champions League last year. And we made it in to the last 16. So there's our team for the season. It was uh, Sarkozy, Barisic, Golds, and Edmondson. And I've just skipped it. Past Steve has skipped it. All those uh, things there. Fans player of the season, Tav. Um, Raphael Leo got the most goals. Kent got the most assists. Barisic got the most player of the matches. I mean, it's man of the match. Oh, but that's a politically correct term. We need to use player. We can't say man because there's women that play this sport as well. Okay, dokie then. It was a superb season for the Jairs as they claimed their fourth title. Boom, boom. Greg Stewart has retired. Um, I'm not going to bother asking the guy to come out of retirement, to be honest. Um, Kent. Kurets a new racker, another racker for the average attendance, that's what happens though when you fucking, you're, you're winning stuff, you're going to get everyone tuning in every week, big man. Um, players inducted into the, yeah so that, that's our team there, um, basically it's just the one I showed you, and again there are a few, um, club vision, aye big man, we'll just go ahead and agree to all this, and we're in the Hall of Fame so, I hope we can maybe get that stadium expansion thing. I don't know what you actually need to get that. I mean, I'm pretty sure you need a lot of trust within the board. Um, Kent gets a new contract, though, which is always good. Um, and it is the start of the transfer window, so we'll now be having an Ozil and um, Fernando Llorente, or Marcus Llorente, what's his name? Place for a flag on Madrid. He's on the own. Um, he'll be coming in. You know, so the transfer window opens here. 9th of June. It's a weird date for the open, in my opinion. Um... Laurie joins Aberdeen, Hamilton's Welsh, boom, boom, boom. Haji set for a move to DL Pro. No idea, I mean, they're a Chinese club. Uh, he's fa How is he only valued at 17 million? Wasn't it like two seasons ago in January? We were. I was getting like 46 million pound offers for Haji. It was fucking insane, man. I don't even know what the hell was going on there. You know? Um, but anyway, guys, that will do it for this. We have a long break until the beginning of the season. But we'll be back with it. And uh, yeah, leave your thoughts down below. Looking forward to season five. Looking forward to five in a row. But until then, peace.